Yeah, firstly, I'd like to thank you, Kai Herlock, for putting this motion down on the adjournment, and I'd be grateful to hear the Minister's response. Thank you very much, Senator, and I want to thank him for raising this matter and to acknowledge his continued interest in that, in this issue, as is also the case with my colleague, uh, and a Senator Michael Comiskey, who's also raised the matter, and I know he has an interest uh, in uh, the cottage and everything that's going to happen to, uh, the, uh, to the cottage and to everything around us in the run-up to our commemorative period in 1916. Um, this is also a matter that has been raised with me by many members of uh, Leitrim uh, County Council uh, at executive level and also elected members of that local authority. The improvement and maintenance of regional and local roads in Leitrim, such as the L6196, is the statutory responsibility of Leitrim County Council in accordance with provision section 13 of the Roads Act of 1993. Works on those roads are funded from the Council's own resources and they are supplemented by funding that is made available from the state. The selection and prioritisation of these works is therefore a matter for the Council itself. Ireland has just under 100,000 kilometres of roads in its network and the maintenance of the national, regional and local road network is a substantial financial requirement for local authorities and for the Exchequer. To give some context to the challenges involved in meeting that need, in 2008 funding for our local, regional and national road network stood at 2.3 billion euro, uh, while funding for the same road network for this year is approximately 760 million euro. And the continual challenge is that funds that are available do not meet the amount of work that needs to be undertaken. I announced the 2015 regional and local road allocation on the 3rd of February this year and Leitrim County Council was allocated 6.6 million euro including 3.3 million euro under the restoration improvement grant program and 1.57 million euro under the discretionary grant and in addition to this and this is a point that I want to emphasize in July of this year the Council received an additional €546,000 as part of the supplementary estimate that I received from my department, uh, the um, estimate of which will be going through the Abactus in the coming weeks. So additional money was made available to Leitrim County Council and it was up to that County Council to decide how they want to allocate that funding. What that now means is all available funding from my department for this year has now been allocated. The original base funding was made available in the way I've described and then additional funding was made available uh, at the start of the summer to allow local authorities to then plan work that they believe needed to happen across the balance of this year. Um, and um, it is therefore the case that I will have no additional funding made available for this year. I will continue uh, to uh, look to secure the best possible allocation for local and regional roads with a view to next year, but it will continue to be the case, Senators, that it is then up to local authorities themselves to decide how they wish to allocate that funding, and this road has to be seen in that context, and also in the context of the funding that Fulch Ireland has already made available to fund the work that I acknowledge does need to be done at that cottage. Thank you. I'm grateful to the Minister for his, his response. Naturally, I'm disappointed because I was approaching this on the basis that uh, I understand that not only the Sean McGirwitt cottage and the road access to that cottage um, is seeking funding, but that there are similar projects in other parts of the country, specifically Banna Strand, I understand, in Kerry, uh, which perhaps the Minister has received representations on. And I felt that in light of the imminent commemorations uh, that uh, there might be a special allocation made by your department for the amount of work involved. I want to put on the record that according to the area engineer that the cost of providing um, uh, road maintenance, resurfacing, um, the provision of laybys on what is a narrow mountain road, as Senator Cummins, my colleague, will know very well, 
um, will create traffic chaos if there is, as expected, an increase in tourist traffic as a result of the commemorations next year. Uh, the cost, the, according to the Council, is, is, is a modest €100,000, uh, but it, it, they just according to what they're telling me and others, is that they just don't have that money in order of the priorities that they have. And I think the Minister himself has indicated that the considerable difference between the 2008 allocation and the current allocation would give, give the, the truth to that view, that particularly uh, small local authorities like Leitrim that have a small rate base uh, are relying perhaps more heavily than any other county uh, on the allocation coming from government. So, it, the, as you know as well, Minister, and you, you, you refer to it, this has been an all-party, non-party approach at Leitrim County Council uh, repeatedly in the last few years uh, to try and get some money. Uh, and again, I want to put on record that approaches have been made to the Department of Arts, Heritage and, and Culture which do not provide money for roads. The Office of Public Works <coughs> spending public money on maintaining the cottage because it is a national monument. Uh, Leitrim County Council themselves are allocating money having acquired land adjoining the cottage for a car park uh, which is badly needed because car parking in the immediate vicinity of the cottage again as Senator Comiskey will testify is very poor and somewhat limited. So the council are making their own efforts in so far as they can. Uh, uh, one question I'd like to put to you is in the context of the dates of your allocations. Um, you, you, you indicated that the allocation was made in February of this year. Um, uh, and presumably you will be making announcements for the 2016 programme. When would you anticipate that you would be making those uh, announcements in terms of the allocations you will be providing under the roads programme uh, to local authorities such as County Leitrim? might be a question that you could answer. But overall, I am grateful to you, Minister. I know your heart is in the right place in this, and I am not in any way attempting to have been political about it. This is, a, a, this is as I say, a non-political issue uh, about what we are very proud uh, of the fact that Sean McGirmada comes from our county and the people of Kilty Clahar have a particular pride in the fact that he comes from their community and collectively uh, the county is going to acknowledge that uh, in the context of the commemorations next year. So it was an attempt to, to make the road more accessible for what will be an increased amount of traffic on that road. And, uh, and my last point is that if, if a tour bus goes up that road in its present form, I think they'll be queuing for hours to get up it. But hopefully, hopefully there will be some sort of uh, an accommodation and that there may be some improvements to it. And maybe in the context of the question I've asked you, there might be an opportunity for the Council to, to allocate the money required. But thank you again. Thank you, uh, Senator Mooney, for your response back. Of course I acknowledge uh, what an important heritage and uh, tourism uh, development, the renovation and restoration of the cottages. And I entirely understand the uh, interest and local pride that the communities uh, in your county and in Senator Comiskey's county will have in relation to the matter. And uh, that is one of the reasons why Fulcher Ireland, who are an agency of my department, did make an allocation and a contribution to the work that needs to be done on the cottage. And I do acknowledge the uh, work that the local authority <coughs> have done and are planning to do in relation to a car park. In relation to the road itself and in relation to the timing of future allocations, uh, in the coming weeks we'll now be determining and confirming what the by-county allocations will be for local and regional roads, so that funding will be available to them. Uh, and then in relation to the road itself and the cost of that, uh, Senator, as I said in my earlier contribution to you, I, mean, I made an additional half a million euro available to you, the local authority of your county earlier this year, as I did to every other local authority across the country, and made clear to them that uh, that funding could be spent in a way that they would decide. And uh, 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 clearly the decision was made to invest that money elsewhere. Uh, but I will continue to uh, recognise the discretion that they have in funding that we will make available for them for next year. Uh, and uh, I, I, I do hope uh, that progress can be made on the road, uh, but I'm not in a position at the moment to say that further funding will be available this year for that or other projects. Uh, and uh, the uh, investment that is needed to complete what needs to be done 
to allow access and allow people to get to the cottage and see it um, will be for the time being a matter for the local authorities to determine out of either their own resources and then the additional funding that I will be making available to them as a matter of course for their local and regional roads in the coming weeks. One brief supplementary. As a general principle, would you be confident that your, your estimate uh, will accommodate an increase in your roads allocation nationally next year? Um, thank you. I am uh, away from the motion, uh, Senator. Sure, but... I, I am. Um, I, that work has been done at the moment. I mean, what tends to happen at the moment, uh, that what has happened over the last number of years, Senator, is that an additional allocation and the largest allocation is made at the start of the year. That gives the local authorities the ability to plan out what they're going to do. Um, and then for various reasons, such as supplementary estimates becoming available or stimulus funding becoming available, additional money is then made available on top of the base allocation they have. Um, at the moment, I am reasonably, uh, 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 reasonably confident that the initial allocation that I will make for this year, uh, uh, in other words, the plan for the year, will be roughly in line with where we were a year ago. Um, and then it will then fall to the next government uh, to see then that if, if further funding does become available in the course of that year to decide where that funding is allocated, which is, Senator, what has happened in many recent years as well. Thank you, Minister. The House stands suspended until 11.30.